What is up guys, I am Samuel, welcome back to Louisiana. So today, I'm gonna be showing you how to install aftermarket hood latches on a Jeep. Let's get into it. Yeehaw! All right, so we're going to be installing Rugged Ridge billet aluminum hood latches on a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Recon. So we're about to go get into the install, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. Okay, so to the first step to installing the hood latches is to remove the lower portion of the hood latch that comes OEM on the Jeep. And if you notice, the bolt that holds it on is actually inside of this body panel, and the only way to get to it is under this uh, metal piece right here. So the bolt is actually going at a down angle, and to get to that, you have to have a swivel on your 13 millimeter socket. So the swivel right here, you can hook into that bolt and then un, uh, loosen it up at this angle that you need to be at, and we're about to do that right now. All right, so we're about to start loosening this up, and you see a lot of videos on YouTube of people doing this, and they make it look pretty easy. It's actually not that easy. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the hardest thing to do in a vehicle, but it's not easy at all. So the hardest part is just grabbing your socket because with the swivel, it's always gonna follow gravity and go down. And then you have to remember that bolt is not level, it's actually angled down. So once you can hook on it, then you are ready to go. And once you can feel it with your finger, you can get that socket on there. And then once you get the socket on there, you can loosen it up. All right, there it goes, and we took it off. Okay, so once I got that nut off, you probably heard it fall down here. So here it is right here, this is the nut, and the ones we're gonna use for the install actually come with the hood latches, and we're about to put them on. So here are the hood latches we are installing. They're the Rugged Ridge Aluminum XHD hood catches. These are the all powder coated black, so we're about to put them on. And if you notice, in the new ones, they actually send these parts with them. In the older version of these hood latches, you had to remove this part from the OEM uh, hood latch. I'll do that right now. So this is the part you had to remove from the OEM hood latch, but now they send them with the hood latches. So we'll just take the new ones out, put them on, and then this bottom part will be ready to install like we removed the old one. So these are the new hood latches, and this is the bottom bracket, uh, and to take the bottom bracket off so you can install it without this rest flopping around, have to undo these two five millimeter uh, Allen bolts on either side, and we're about to do that. There they are, and this comes off like that, and we're ready to install it. So on the new hood latches, we just have to uh, put, poke the bolt through the, uh, uh, the body panel, and then we can hold back up on this, and tighten up the outside uh, bolt with a five millimeter Allen key so you don't have to do all the ratcheting in a very constricted spot. All right, so right now we're, uh, we got the bolt on the uh, end of the, we got the nut on the end of the bolt for the hood latch and we're about to stick on the swivel so we can hold back up and tighten it up with a five millimeter wrench, so here we go. All right, and that is tight and we have the first bottom part installed. And that is the hardest part done. So on the passenger side, to remove this hood latch, it is exponentially harder than the one on this side, the driver's side, which we actually thought was already kind of hard. So to get to this, if you notice, you can't go straight through here because that's too much of an angle. And you also can't get through here because of this metal bar. So what you have to do is you have to come up underneath this inner fender right here. And if you go up through there, you can actually grab that bolt. Once you grab that bolt, you can get just enough to get one click on a ratchet slowly loosen it up to this handy and then you can undo that bolt and pull it off and that's what we just did it is extremely hard but you can take this hood latch off and now we just have to put a new one on okay so you probably figured this out but to put it back on i just poke my arm up underneath this uh little inner fender right here and i get a hold i could fill the nut that's right here and i slip the washer on and then i just thread it on the bolt i got my uh, uh wrench and i just held back up while we tightened up with this five millimeter Allen key and it went on a whole lot easier than the other one. But remember, it's exponentially harder to take off. Now we just have these top ones to do, which are actually pretty simple because you can grab the whole thing. So we're about to put them on and be done with this install. So guys, when we were trying, initially just looking at the Jeep, trying to figure out what the best way to take the original one off was, we were just trying to go through here like we did the first one. And we're looking at this air filter and we tried to take it off, but do not do that. That will not help you any. It's easiest to just go up through that inner fender and then get it from the bottom. So just remember, you don't need to remove this like we tried to do. So here's the new hood latch installed. And what I have to do is just tighten up on these bolts right here. We'll be ready to install the actual hood latch because you do this top bracket, 
this bottom bracket and the hood latch mounts onto them. Okay, so once you have your top hood latch um, bracket mounted and your bottom one mounted, you just have to take this hood latch, put it in, and then these little uh, bolts go right through it and just tighten them up with a five millimeter Allen key and you are ready to put your aftermarket hood latch on. All right, and once you're ready, you can latch your hood and there you go, your uh, Rugged Ridge aftermarket Jeep Wrangler hood latches install. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share this video with all your Jeep driving friends and your grandmother, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.